What is going on, Bucks fans, NCFB fans? Evan Wanish here, back at you with yet another video talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And today we are going to be continuing our positional previews for the 2024 season ahead of training camp. Training camp is going to be this month, so we are getting closer and closer to actual training camp to the preseason. And I wanted to take a look at more position groups today. Today we're going to be talking about the tight end room. Now, this room is largely unchanged uh, for, for, for the most part uh, from what it was last season. I know there was some speculation that the Buccaneers could maybe add a guy uh, of significance to the room, maybe to challenge Kate Otten for that starting spot. They ultimately did not. So let's go over who's in the room. Like I said, it didn't change that much, but let's go over who's in the room and what the expectations might be uh, for a guy like Kate Otten entering year three. Obviously, like I mentioned, we have Kate Otten there right at, at the top. You also have Co'Keefe still on the roster, Payne Durham, Tanner Tuala, David Wells, and the newcomer is Devin Culp, uh, the seventh round draft pick, I believe, out of Washington. So pretty good receiver, not the best blocker in the world. I'd say he's almost like an extra wide receiver, uh, 6'4", 237. So uh, that is the newcomer in, in the room there, a, a seventh round pick. So uh, really... The, the, the Bucks haven't really invested much into the tight end room this this offseason. Did they have to? I, I don't think they had to. I don't think it was a need to where, like, you need to have an upgrade at tight end. Uh, but I, I, because I do like Kate Otten. I like a lot of what he's brought to the table so far in his NFL career. I like a lot of what he can be, you know, so far uh, in his NFL career. I think there's another step he can take. Uh, the depth is a little bit concerning where I'm not sure what really Coquise gives you at this point. Payne Durham had some flashes. Uh, David Wells here and there. Tantawala hasn't really had much of a shot. And we'll see what Devin Culp has, you know, in training camp. But uh, I, I do think this room, I wouldn't really say it has a ton of potential. But I think Kate Otten, like I mentioned, has that has that extra gear, I think. And entering year three, I think you're going to find out exactly what Kate Otten is. I always like, to, and this is just me personally, but I always like to judge the players after year three, right? Three years of being in the NFL, you've had a time to develop, you had a chance to grow uh, and get adjusted to NFL life, get adjusted to the NFL skill level. And I think we're going to see exactly what Kate Otten is. Right now, I'd say he's a decent tight end one. I don't. I, I think it's something where you could upgrade, but at the same time, you could do a lot worse than Kate Otten. So uh, I, I like what he has shown so far in his NFL career. Uh, last season, uh, he, he played pretty well for the Bucks. You know, he he did, and, and he was one of Baker Mayfield's favorite targets. To be honest with you, uh, tight end is going to be that safety blanket for for a guy. So uh, it does make a lot of sense for Kate Otten uh, to me make that jump again. But the depth overall is a little concerning. Uh, a player who I'm not sure if he's going to make the roster is Coquiefed. Look, he, he doesn't really bring much in the receiving game really much at all, even though he did catch a touchdown, I believe, this season. It was his first catch of the season, actually, uh, was a touchdown. I think it was in Lambeau, I, I believe. Um, so, uh, Coquif doesn't really give you that much as a receiver. He is more of a blocker. The Bucks actually use him more of a fullback role at, at times when they need to. A uh, guy like Payne Durham, more of a red zone threat, and, and I'd want to see him maybe get a few more reps th this year. Um, we'll see if he can, if he's a guy who maybe takes that, you know, another jump, you know, in, in his second year in, in training camp. So I am curious to see that. And I'm curious to see Devin Culp. I, I am. I do like the potential. Um, like I said, 6'4", 237. Basically, uh, just a big wide receiver out there. Uh, I don't really think he's going to give you much in a blocking game. The Bucks don't really need that. Uh, the, the Bucks don't really need a, a blocking tight end as much. They sort of have that covered. So it'd be nice to see, you know, Culp has the, the explosiveness to maybe get a little bit more vertical than Kate Otten can or, you know, make a man miss. They haven't really had that in the tight end room over the past two or three seasons. So really, I would say ever since Rob Gronkowski, you know, ended up hanging him up, I, I don't really think they've had that explosiveness. And look, I'm, I'm not expecting anybody that they replaced, you know, Gronk with 
to be Gronk. I'm not, I'm not really saying that, but uh, I do think that they could use a little bit more explosiveness from that position. I think Kate Otten has that in him. I, I don't think it's going to be all of a sudden he's going to be running streaks down the field and catching 40 yard passes, but I do think he has a little bit more explosiveness, you know, down the seams in the middle of the field uh, to his game. And I'm, I'm curious to see if, if Liam Cohen, you know, if he utilizes that at all, if, if he tries to unlock that at all. So uh, I am curious to see that. But really in this tight end room, a lot of eyes are going to be on Kate Otten. A few eyes will be on guys like Koki, Payne Durham, Devin Colt during training camp, uh, David Wells, Tanjuala. Uh, like I said, it's the room is largely unchanged, but uh, there is still some room, I think, to grow. And and I do think growth could mean a, a big boost for this offense. I, I really do. If Kate Otten is able to develop, uh, even more, I, I think it could really help the offense out. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm always curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you like Kate Otten as a starting tight end? Did you think the Buccaneers should have gone out and, and acquired a different tight end or maybe not necessarily somebody to um, – surpass Kate Otten on the depth chart, but maybe some veteran depth or something. You know, I, I'm always curious to hear what you guys think about the current room, but also what you guys maybe would have done uh, if you guys were in charge of, uh, of that room in the off season. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and go Bucks. <laughs>